All right, we're picking up with that last problem that got too long for the video. So I'm going to add these two rationals together. And remember, before you add rationals together, you really should factor the denominators to make sure you know what you're dealing with here. Uh, I'm also going to take that negative sign and distribute it into the fraction because I think uh, it's a little obnoxious the way it's written right now. So I have negative 4 delta plus 4 on top. And let's factor it now. I see a GCF of delta. So that's delta times delta plus 3. And the other fraction is just 5 delta plus 6 on top and delta squared. There's nothing really to factor here, but humor me for a moment because I, I can see where we're going with this problem. Let's write that as delta plus delta. And let's move it into the middle because I want to write stuff on both sides. Now, what is the fraction on the left missing that the fraction on the right has? You might think, well, it's not missing anything. It has a delta and it has a delta plus 3. But it's actually missing a delta because this guy has two deltas and this guy only has one. So we need another factor of delta. Okay, so there's my fancy one on the left. And what's the fraction on the right missing that the one on the left has? Well, that, that's fairly obvious. That's just a delta plus three. That's a terrible three. Okay, anyway. So there are my two uh, crazy ones that I'm going to use. Let's multiply those through and see what we get. I have negative four delta squared plus four delta on the left. And on the right, I have, let's see, that's a five delta squared plus five delta. I'm just foiling this all out with every step here, six delta and 18. Okay, and that's all over delta squared times delta plus three. My threes are just getting just worse and worse today. Okay, now we combine like terms. So I have, I have what? I have five delta squared and four delta squared makes a single delta squared. And I have a five delta and a four delta makes nine delta. Uh, and I forgot my six delta sitting right there in front of my face. So that's going to be 15 delta. And at the very end, all by itself, is a numeric term 18. So we have 18. So that's my numerator. And it's over delta squared plus, uh, times delta plus 3. And is there anything, any way we can factor this? Well, let's just check it out. Uh, I'm looking for factors of 18 which add up to 15. There might not be. Uh, every now and then you run into something that does not cancel. That doesn't mean you did it wrong, although you should always check your work. But I think in this one, unless I'm missing something, 18, what? Uh, 18 and 1 doesn't work. 9 and 2 doesn't work. Nah, this isn't factoring. So it's possible I made a mistake up top. Let's double check that. Negative four delta squared, four delta. I think those all look good. Um, five delta, no, there it is. Oh, son of a gun. Okay, 15 delta. So, yep, there's the problem. So anyway, uh, I did mess up. And this middle term is going to be 25 delta. So it still doesn't factor. Fine, whatever. That's the way these, this problem generally works.